Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, today we will see what is resistance. Resistance is the opposition offered by material to the flow of charge. Now here we have a two type of charges, positive and negative. So there is always a collision in the material. So that is nothing but resistance. Let us start with definition of resistance. Resistance, the resistance of material of wire is defined as opposition offered by material to the flow of charge. Suppose here we have a metal, then we can say opposition to the flow of electron. Now, according to Ohm's law, we have V is equal to IR. Hence, resistance can be written as R is equal to V by I. Let's write down what is the unit of resistance. We know this is V is a potential difference. Means here we can write Holt. Current, the unit of current is ampere. So we'll write here ampere. Hence, Unit of resistance is Holt per Ampere or SI unit is Ohm. In this way, we can write down unit of resistance. Let us find out what is the dimension of resistance. Hence, we know resistance R is equal to V by I. Now the potential difference V can be written as work done or work per unit charge and I can be written as like this. Now we know work. Work is force into displacement. Upon charge into I current. Let us find out dimension of these quantities. We have a force. So dimension of force, we know force is equal to mass into acceleration. We can write acceleration as mass into velocity per unit time. Now this velocity can be expressed in terms of distance per unit time. So we'll write down here distance that is denoted by S per unit time and this time is there. So we'll write down T square. Hence force is nothing but mass that is mass into length upon T square time square. So the dimension of force can be written as L1 M1 T is in the denominator. So we'll write here T minus 2. Dimension of displacement will be length. Then we have a charge. Let us find out what is the dimension of charge. We know current. Current I is equal to charge per unit time. Hence, we can write charge Q is equal to I into T. We know the dimension of current I is ampere and dimension of time is t. So a1, t1. And dimension of current will be again a. Let us substitute this value in this equation. So dimension of force we have that is L1, M1, t minus 2. Dimension of displacement is L1. Dimension of charge is A1, T1 and dimension of current is A, that is A1. After solving this, we will get, this is L1, L1 means here we have L2, M1. This T is in the denominator, when it will go up, this will become minus 3. 
and a again it is in the denominator when it will go up this will become a minus 2. So this is the dimension of resistance. In this way we can find out dimension of resistance also. Thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikeda and please subscribe Ikeda. Thank you so much.